Hello and welcome to my let's play of Rings of Power on the Sega Genesis. It's one of my favorite game games from my childhood. I haven't played it in a long, long time, over 10 years at least. So, it will be a nice to revisit an old game and like to see how well it's is it still any good. I do still like the opening music though. So let's get this show started. Intro. From the book of Nexus, before Nexus we get into this. I'm not gonna read all this. It's not really that important anyway. It's just the basic backstory. Good versus evil. My rod of creation gets split into eleven rings, and now it's our quest to try to find those eleven rings and recreate the rod of creation. Yes, our name is Buck. Nice fancy name for you there. Student of Master Flowers. The rings of power have all become but a legend, yet all have read the book of Nexus and know of the sacred quest to find the rings and restore the rock power to Nexus. The best of Thalmus, you will be the next to undertake the sacred quest. Good luck on your journey and may Nexus walk with you. Yeah, it's never a good way to start your game with an epic text scroll. It's just tedious. Well, I'm that relevant anyway. But let's start the game. The adventure begins! As usual, Dawn finds you on the path heading into town. Time to go to the academy. Master Thalmus wants to see you. Okay, we don't want this help image obstructing our limited view. System help. Oh. Dialogs on direction right handed. We don't want combat to be auto. There's already very little control you can have in the combat, so. But that li what little there is is critical to survival, so we want manual combat. I won't be using the game's save system because it's just. just because I have save states, there's no point in using it. It's just slow and tedious. Does not add anything to the game? And let's get started. The game looks good, at least. That one frame per second movement isn't all that attractive. It's decent music, decent color and the graphics. 
still like it. Ah, don't like this music. For some reason it's so much louder than anything else in the game. Nine gold pieces and one corpse. Okay. Can't watch that without the key, and there's the key. Sorcerer key taken. New map. Pretty basic stuff. I think this is supposed to be a sort of tutorial phase for the game. So, so really trying to familiarize you with the controls and the basic gameplay mechanics. Buck, you get my notes. I hope the other students come as promptly. Let's go to the practice room. I'd like to demonstrate the first sorcerer's spell. Stun. Big cutscene here. I see you. We are all here, even Darius and Physic. Thank you for joining us, gentlemen. Today's topic is stun. It takes very little energy to cast and does little damage. As you gain experience, it will become your spell of last resort. That's true. Stun has a range of about 10 feet and gives you enemy painful jolt. I will demonstrate. That's truly impressive. Students, you are ready to use the stun spell. I have a task for each of you. Buck, a tool at the Temple of Nexus has asked to see you. When you're finished there, come back and I'll give you your assignment. Thrown out the door. Okay, at the Temple. So, local Temple of Nexus. I wonder if it's that guy. Hello, Bach. How do you do on your examination? Mm, no, I don't think it is. Hmm. Thalamus has told me that you are reaching some skill with your early training. He has instructed you to the first combat spell. This is a dangerous time, time for a young sorcerer. You must choose the path through. The quick and easy path of void is all too tempting. May Nexus's eternal strength be with you. And we got a tome of some kind. And lo, a beam of pure white light did appear, and within it the pure and holy form of Nexus. And he said unto us, This is holy ground. I don't see how that's useful in any way, but okay. And now we had to return to our master for a quest. And the Oracle Sorcerer's Guild music. I'm trying to keep the music down on a low level because it's not consistent, the volume isn't consistent, consistent throughout the game. So, if you everything is at normal volume and you hit one of those spots, it can be really, really annoying and painful to listen to it. So, I'm keeping the volume a bit low on purpose. Eat the words of the priest, Buck. He is wiser than you know. You will find a key on the floor of my room. Yeah, we've done that. Use it to open chest nearby. Inside is a mass of Ushkaba. Use the map to find the hermit who lives in the hills to the south. Last night he was seen stealing the eye symbol from the academy door. You can try talking to him, but I'm afraid he's not very reasonable. If he won't give you the eye, if he won't give the eye to you, practice your style spell on him. Basically, kill him. 
When you have the eye, bring it to me. I'll have the groundskeeper move it to the door again. And test. Apparently our first quest is to go and beat up or murder some old hermit. Okay, let's look at the map. Hermit to the south. That's here. Keep out the private drive. <laughs> Ratty little shack on a hill. You are one of those sorcerers, aren't you? I hate sorcerers. Why are you bothering me? Okay, it's just... What do we need to ask him? What? I used to be a mighty sorcerer, but Thalos gave me the boot. Now I do nothing. And we... And here's the game's combat screen. In a plane in some mysterious void. All combat is like this, in the same place. And you can't manually... It's turn-based, and you can't manually actually move your characters. What you do is you select a spell, and you can control the move that they have affects how aggressively you attack and how much damage you take when you get hit. So, since he's attacking, I want to be wary to minimize the damage I take, and I'm going to try to berserk him when I get the chance to attack. It's not a big change, but it's the only thing I can do at this point, since I only have this one spell I can. And there's no manual movement, so it's this or nothing. The crazy thing about this is that, as you can see, he has about three times the health I do, so it's actually quite normal to get killed in this first mission. Because it's just luck, basically. That stance helps a little. He doesn't have any strong attack spells. So, as long as I keep on the defensive, I'll probably do this. Yes. I was successful. You earn 13 experience per person. Also captured 41 gold pieces and a sorcerer's eye. Excellent. Now, back to the Magister and we'll get started on the actual quest of this game. It's sort of pretty sad that a random townsperson is almost lethal to us. 